See that one person? That's always a Periscope person. Hi, how's everybody doing tonight? All right, Scopers. So, uh oh, we gotta be closer together. There we go. Hi, everybody. My name's Misty. This is my daughter, Megan, and she is a trained pastry chef. And our friend Linda from Kentucky sent us in the mail to Texas a Kentucky Woods bourbon barrel cake. Now, I have never eaten anything from Kentucky before. That Kentucky jelly I've heard, you don't ever want to eat it. It's disgusting. That's an old joke. Okay. Okay, why well, jelly? <laughs> it's a really old joke. So anyways, our friend Linda from Kentucky sent us this cake. Now, she's never had one either, but uh, we thought it sounded delicious. I like bourbon, and we both love cake. So here we are, <laughs> live on the internet. We're going to try Kentucky Woods Bourbon Barrel Cake for the first time. Now, um, it is a rich flavor of real Kentucky aged. No, it's a... Rich flavor of real Kentucky aged, no, I can't read properly. Rich flavor of real aged Kentucky bourbon without the alcohol. It's safe for kids. That's their secret recipe. Kentucky bourbon aged in an oak barrel has a very rich and unique taste. It is what makes our cake so rich in flavor. Now this cake is very moist. Can you see? Hold up the cake just a little bit. This is a traditional, say it. It's a traditional American. Traditional styled American cake. styled cake. It's a single Compared layer. To the Europeans that have multiple layers, multiple fillings. Multiple layers this of multiple fillings. One layer, usually an American style cake will have one or two layers with icing in the middle. This is one. Icing on top. It's so moist. I mean, it is a beautifully moist cake. The caramel on top got a little melted because Texas it got is... got very melted. Texas is still in the middle of August, so it didn't come through as pretty as I'll bet it was in the Kentucky stores. But uh, it looks like a nice uh, uh, chocolate marble with a vanilla or... Almond. Yeah, it's got big, chunky... Now, Linda, you can't apologize when you sent us something for our climate. That's our climate that... <laughs> that made it not as pretty. I bet it was beautiful in the store. You could tell they really put some love in the decor on the top, the way the caramel is swirled. The postal service didn't really care so much. Yeah, and the postal service did not show any love to this package. <laughs> it was clearly packaged with care. It was bought with love, and it was sent to us. So um, we're going to try a bite, and we're going to tell you what, we, what you think. Now, we love walnuts, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's so moist. Oh, Caramel makes everything taste great. You are absolutely right. Um, if anybody who's watching has ever had a Kentucky Woods bourbon barrel cake, t uh, comment with a one. Just, and keep tell us, Just keep talking. Tell us what you think. She's eating and I'm doing all the talking. What do you think? She loves it. She lo can't stop now. Can't, can't talk. Must it's eat. not a dry cake. That's amazing. A lot of people over... Overcook their cakes. Nobody, no comments with a one. I guess comment with a two if you've never had. Megan says so does bourbon. It so makes the cake moist. Mm. It absolutely does. Oh, this is so good. Uh, right, thank you, uh, Jenny. You comment with a two if you've never had one. So this is really good. I like there's a there's vanilla. Wouldn't you say there's a good vanilla flavor to it? But also I feel like I taste some fruit. In this and the You're walnut, that from the bourbon. I'm getting the fruit from the bourbon. See, so smart. Uh, the it is really good. I don't think there's going to be any problem making this cake disappear over the next few days. It's really good. Do I? Is there? Is there any coconut in this? It's all just fruity, bourbony oh, good. The walnuts. Walnut. It's the walnuts that are tasting so good, and the caramel on top is delicious. Margaret likes Kentucky bourbon ale, so you would probably like a Kentucky bourbon cake. One more bite. I'm surprised it doesn't have alcohol in it. Well, they claim it cooks mm -hmm. out. Oh, so it started with alcohol. Oh, yeah, it was definitely okay, aged. You can still taste the alcohol in it. But... See, sensitive palates can taste these things. I can't taste it at all. Oh, yeah. I can share this with my small fries. Uh, I would share this with my small fries, except they're allergic to nuts. And we don't take any chances with their food allergies. Because, we, you know, nut allergies can be pretty significant. And um, 
I like them alive and breathing most days. It has a good crumb. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. Good base. It's got a I good say. A good base on it. It's a nice crusty layer on the bottom. I haven't gotten to the chocolate part because I won't stop talking. But um, Linda said there's more for us. No problem, the... not mine. <laughs> Linda says there's more for us because uh, the small fries can't have any. Ah, safety first. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, with the kids, they've lived with their nut allergies their whole life, and they're not, it's not a disadvantage more than anything. It's just a way of living, and they don't know any different. You know, it's not, oh, the poor things. They eat just fine. They eat just fine. Let's see. How's the chocolate part? Yeah, Margaret's right. More for us. We big girls do The chocolate we... part's denser. The chocolate part's a dent. It looks kind of dense on the chocolate part. More for us. It's not like it's what dry, it but it's... See the chocolate part? <laughs> <laughs> My husband wants... He's asked from the other room, what are we doing in here? We're trying... Not eating anything. We're not yeah. eating a delicious cake that you might or might not like. Okay. It's It's terrible. You don't want any. It's caramel, it's all, it's <laughs> walnuts, it's, it's really, really, really good. Caramel, caramel ribbons in it. I like caramel. I like caramel. I like crunchy stuff. <laughs> so, I think it's delicious. I am so grateful that our friend Linda, all the way from Kentucky. Bourbon sucked down to the bottom of the cake. The bourbon's at the bottom of the cake. Okay, so the top layers are the warm-up layers. And if you get good and hammered from the bottom, I would guess. Um, yeah, just wanted to thank my friend Linda you know, we know Linda because Thank you. <laughs> we know Linda because she's one of the best uh, home freeze home fries that you're ever gonna meet. She's the most generous, sweet, loving, and wonderful person. And she heard that I wanted one of these. She posted actually, kind of crazy. She posted an invitation. How did you find out about this? Exactly. I was gonna get to the story. She was. Thank you. She was telling Tim Faust about these. She saw him in the store. Now Tim Faust is the mega super bass bass singer for Home Free. And super I'm low. You, super low. Wow. That's low. Low, 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 low. <laughs> oh no, we haven't been watching TV at all. Um, he's the bass singer for uh, Home Free, and he likes Kentucky Bourbon. Bourbon. That's easy for me to say. He likes Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale as a beverage, and Linda saw these cakes and sent it to his Facebook wall and said, we thought of you, and of course I see that and I have to comment and say, I want one, om nom 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 nom. So here we are, om nom nomming at how great they are, because she said, I'll send you one. I was the one that got the package today, <laughs> and I had called this one worried about the package because it got kind of damaged and she goes there's a cake inside and i was like there's a cake inside cake. open it up and i was like "Ooh, that looks good there's a cake yeah there's normally cake. i get a lot of random stuff in the mail shoes for the kids i get a lot of essential oils in the mail so she's used to me getting packages but this one she kind of got a little excited about because it's cake and as you can see her plate is all gone now um just the crumbs don't lick the plate yet until <laughs> I think she's gonna lick well, the plate, y'all. <laughs> she left me. Bye. She left me to my own devices so she could. Kentucky. She called it Kentucky. Oh, because I was gonna spell Kentucky with a K. I mean, with a J instead of a K. So I was starting to type the Kentucky. <laughs> Did the wooden box help it stay safe? Yes, I am willing to bet, Linda, that the wooden box is the only reason we're actually enjoying this cake because it saved its life. That poor thing was damaged beyond belief. But the wooden part was survived. Yeah, yeah. With the wooden box, that's why it made it. You know, the post office, they're not so nice. They don't they don't love packages very much anymore. The niceness, the customer service of the good old days are from the good old days, not the good recent days. So the box Kind of got a little beat up. I want some, too. I know. Margaret's like, I want some. Margaret, run out to Kentucky and get you one. <laughs> it's It can't be that far of a drive. <laughs> she lives, just run a few states. She lives in, uh, 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 like, kind of the uh, edges of Nashville. I would say she's maybe, like, 30 to 45 minutes away from Nashville. You can make it. You didn't have a stronger box to put it in? Right. I mean, Linda, it was in a box. A box in a box would have been redundant. The, the, the Did you, wood. Were you the one that put the tissue paper in? The tissue paper? Yeah. Because that saved it too. The tissue paper saved it. 
And it would have been nice if the um, postal service hadn't flipped it upside down. Yeah. Because that, you know, put the caramel kind of on the top of the box lid instead of keeping the caramel flat. And Linda said yes. She's the one who put the tissue paper in. Tissue paper was awesome. Packing A+. plus. So, yeah, I thought Linda wasn't that far. She can drive to Kentucky in only, like, 15 minutes. Find you a grocery store on the edges of Kentucky. Get you a cake. Yum. Oh, no. <laughs> Crap. I dropped it in my lap. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> on that note, good. I have to go now because I have to clean up a huge mess and then finish my cake. You guys saw it here. <laughs> Kroger's. Yes, Kroger in Kentucky, and you can buy your own. Um, oh, Margaret says they have them in Tennessee, too. We'll see. Get you some. Linda's laughing because I dropped it. Now my daughter's laughing. My other daughter <laughs> laughing. On your laps. <laughs> exactly, because I had the... It looks too good to waste. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually probably going to eat this bite that fell on my lap, y'all. Because most of it landed on the description card. Mar everybody's laughing at me because I spilled cake in my lap. Oh my gosh, you guys are cruel, heartless, wonderful friends. And I love you to death. I hear that post. Um, three second rule. Yeah, it's definitely only been in my lap for three seconds. So um, like it's just that I, I look like I need a broom to sweep my lap off, but the bite, I think the bite could be salvaged. Pick it up quick. Um, here comes my lovely assistant. Oh, have y'all ever seen my daughter? She's like my identical Hi. twin. Look, everybody who's ever met us in the history of ever says we look exactly alike. I don't see it, but we look exactly <laughs> alike according to everybody. Uh, don't stick your tongue up. What is with my kids? Sticking their tongues out tonight. Okay, so this is my helpful Thank you. assistant. And um, yes, yes, we're twins. We're twins separated by a couple of generations and the product of Danish cloning. Margaret, I think, sent up a few hearts because. What? They, they, Danish clothing. Like, of all the cloning? places, yeah, of all the places that you could have said cloning. Holland? Clothes, Holland? They, the places, the Danish. Only, they only can clone. Well, Danishes are a wonderful flaky pastry. And I think it's overseas where they actually will allow people to clone animals, not people. You can't clone people. That's illegal. It's for Star Wars only. Science. Science. But, um, the more you so, know. look at all those hearts. Michaela, ever since you showed up, we're getting hundreds of hearts across the screen. They love me. <laughs> hearts for the daughter. Me. Thank you. Hearts for the daughter. None for the cake. Come no. on, guys! No, I just need. Okay, they love would you me. do me a favor? Uh -huh. um, will you take the cake back into the kitchen so that it stays safe? Don't drop it on the way. And I won't. We'll I talk about how I'm going to clean up all these crumbs off my lap. Okay, this time I mean it. I'm going to say goodbye. Everybody have a great night. Thanks for tuning in to a cake reveal. This cake is awesome. So if you have the means and the ability to get to Kentucky and or Tennessee, get you a Kentucky Woods Bourbon Barrel Cake. They're yummy. You'll be glad you